Time to play with some clay. Okay, the third day on these feathers. And I've decided to change the uh, texturing tool. The uh, one from Ken's tools is just a little too, well, it's just a little too harsh. And so I'm going to go with a uh, tool that uh, has more of a serrated edge on the uh, bo bottom part of the, or on the uh, wire. It's softer. It still gives it texture, but, and it also helps me take down the uh, clay a little bit without building a whole bunch of little granules of clay on top of the surface of this clay. I know it's hard to see. I'll hold this up in the light and you can just see that it just gives a texture, a nice texture. That I can take down, but it's still there. It's it's more sculptural, is what I'm trying to say. So that's what I'm going to do. I got three of the uh, 33 feathers. Now, actually, this is the third one of the 33 that I've got to do. So I'm uh, not quite there yet. I'm gonna, it's gonna probably take most of today. This part's the hardest part for me because my, these, this finger and this thumb are numb and it is painful as hell to do this. But, you grit and bear it. It's like, uh, Everything else I've done on these, uh, it's painful. You just, when you get to 73 years of age, like I am, you learn to live with pain. <laughs> and my pain is less than some people's. Believe me, there's a lot of people my age, far more trouble than I got, health-wise. It's not a pity party here. I just telling you the facts of life. You youngins have no clue what's in store for you when you get older. Of course, it may change by the time you get older. Maybe they'll have a a uh, medicine or a pill that'll give you back your youth. Well, wouldn't that be great? Anyway, all right, I'm going to just continue here, and uh, I didn't mean to get sidetracked. Okay, I'm going to do something else with my feathers, too. I'm, uh, they're going to have to have a uh, wrapped end to the, uh, bottom end to the uh, quill. And it would be, uh, it would be, in real life, it would be a uh, piece of trade cloth that uh, wraps around the, the bottom part to be a, a loop, either leather or quill, on the end that uh, they could sew the feather onto the headdress with. And these little ties uh, in the center and on the ends, there would be three ties to... Uh, You know, keep the wrap on the on the quill. And this one, I need to redo the wrap right here. There. So now I got three wraps, and I got to do that, and I got to make them all the same size. So I'm going to do the three, four feathers I've already gotten. I'm up to five feathers. <laughs> 
This is so slow. Alright, I know these videos lately uh, must be mind-bendingly boring. Because all I'm doing is the same damn thing over and over again. And it's the feathers. Seems like I'll never get done with them. It's uh, getting late in the afternoon. Um, let me put this aside for a second. I'll show you what I got finished. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine feathers done. I'm working on the tenth one. So that means I got 23 after I get this one done to uh, continue on. The reason I'm doing a whole feather again is so I can show you what I'm doing here. I decided to do something else. I have to keep all the dark area of the feather, the uh, upper part of the eagle feather, I have to keep them uniform in height. I don't want them up and down on the... Uh, pattern when I put all the feathers together so it's just uh, I'm using a cutout where the dark area started on the uh, cutout and I'm changing the texture on the upper part so that there's a definition between the lighter texture and the darker texture which is this and uh, hard to believe I'm using three tools for this. And just outlining it too, so that when they patina the bronze, it'll be easy for them to see the difference. I think you can in that. And I'm not worried about the little granules. That'll add to the uh, coloring anyway. And I gotta make it the same on the other side because it's gotta be the same height on the other side. And I'm doing that before I put the uh, quill on because for obvious reasons you screw up your quill if you don't do this before. Now each feather would have um, a fluff at the end and a piece of horse hair but I can't do that because it would be costly so I'll just stick with what I got there we go. that's uh, another feather done so now I got six and I got uh, man got 29 to go Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.